match between Rustavito and uh, Shinijen, which Rustavito, who's just uh, entering the arena now, will be a big favourite to win in terms of rankings and known form, but pressure can sometimes do funny things. Every single match we've had has been tight, even though some have been in straight games. So Ristolito is out. Closely followed. And achieves it. They have met once before. I'll show you what happened in that match in a moment on the screen. Hello. There it was. Was it a little while ago? Black or red. Nearly four years ago. It was a fairly comfortable two game win for That's Mr. Vito. So let's give you a little bit of information on uh, both of these players. Just the way we like it really, the tie poised at two matches all. And we've got a winner take all situation with these two. Cesar Rustavito will be the man Indonesia are pinning their hopes on here. 27 years of age now. Ranked 19th in the world. That high ranking you see was back in March of 2020. He's won a few of the lesser tournaments. Russian Open 2019, Vietnam Open a year earlier. He actually won four international tournaments in Indonesia between 2016 and 2018. So Whilst he's still waiting for a, a Super 300 win or better, he's very, very talented. And there's Chi Yuzhen, way down at 146 in the rankings. It's actually only his second singles match of the year. I mean, obviously we've had a whole lot of curtailments of tournaments, although thankfully things getting not exactly back to normal, but at least more like normality. And a lot of players have missed a lot of play. The man in the chair is Xiaoxian Zhang of Brunei. And he will be supported by the South African service judge, Janine Kurtzer. She had an eventful match actually as a chair umpire a couple of matches ago. It seemed like there were challenges every, every five minutes. So this tie has now been going for exactly five hours and we still don't know what's going to be the eventual outcome of the group. Group A. Just to reiterate, a Chinese Taipei victory and then we go to the tricky maths because we'll potentially, after the match later on, between Algeria and Thailand, we're going to have three teams on four points. And then we use the various tiebreaker criteria. Obviously, where there's three teams, you can't use the head to head. So then it goes on matches won and games and points. But obviously, until A, Chinese Taipei win the singles, which they're outsiders to do, and then B, Thailand play Algeria. We, we won't know you know the exact match. You could even go to uh, individual points if, if, if everything else is equal. Anyhow, Ready? here is the umpire introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Indonesia, represented by Shisar Hiran Rustavito. Adam Miller, Chinese Taipei, represented by 
Chi Yu Jen. Indonesian person, the ball, play. So just Vito starting off, and I think he'll want to assert early here. So I mentioned that previous meeting was well over three years ago. And what changes in that time? I want to kind of sow this, that seed of doubt in his opponent's head that there's still going to be a chasm between them because there was that day. Well, if that's the kind of uh, standard we're in for, it's going to be well worth watching. Rooster Vito challenging it. I'm, I'm not sure he's going to get too much joy. Looks a, a great shot from, from Chi. And indeed it was. Surprised that he would burn a challenge that early in, in a game. Maybe Jamie thought it was wise, but to be plumb on the line and the. Uh, the Hawkeye system confirmed that. Service over. One all. Play. Service over. Two. One. And the apology. Three, one. More etiquette than anything else, because I don't think he really, he really is sorry. <laughs> he wants the point. Especially looking to make, as I mentioned, a fast start. Surprised. I don't think he's going to miss too many of those. I think he's come out with a, a plan to assert. And he's going to maybe try and keep the point short. That was a little tame. Three, four. Well, we're going to crown our champions on Saturday in the uh, evening for the Uber Cup and Sunday in the afternoon for uh, the Thomas Cup. That's a service for called by service judge Janine Kurtzer. Never what you want to hear as a player and it, it just, especially so early in the game, so a few seeds of doubt the next time you serve. You're so conscious of not being penalised again. Sometimes you lose focus on what you're actually trying to do with the serve. Excellent rally. Six, three. Okay. And Mr. Vito, as mentioned, is trying to put down a marker here really early in the opening game. Four, 
Yeah, just too much height on the attempted hairpin. He was very quick to pounce. She. Oh, that's lovely touch there. So we saw the seven four. Well, it looked like he'd done the hard bit. Five, he was dragging Chi in, pushing him back. And then put a pretty straightforward looking shot way wide of the sideline. I suppose that's the danger when you come up with that kind of uh, attacking intent. And you miss a few and you think, well, maybe I should have been more patient. Well, it doesn't look uh, overburdened, Chi, with the pressure that's been heaped on his shoulders in this situation. As score as it is. Just as so many of the matches in this tie. Point and counterpoint, punch and counterpunch. Absolutely nothing in it. Well that I think that was just indecision. He kind of got himself into two minds there, at least two minds. Chi. A real nervy one. Oh, 
That's better. So they're going to go to the interval after the next point. Still, these two, impossible to separate. Not just on the scoreboard, but on the balance of play, you wouldn't say there's really been one having the advantage over the other at all at any stage. So, after a lot of chasing, it's going to be Chi who takes an 11 10 lead to the interval. Take a backward step there. 12, and he has been predatory at the net on more than one occasion. Mr. Vito absolutely helpless. Anything about that? watching the opening couple of matches obviously then you're going to go and practice before uh, going on to court but you know everything is basically depending on, on your match at the end well he was very patient there to be telling in contrast to some of the early points in the match and he got his reward and he's on level terms again.
Just missed it. That's wide, and he's got a couple of point lead here. towards the business end of this opening game. Oh, that's brilliant down the line. What a shot. Shiny better than that. And Rustavita has a problem here. Potentially, so do Indonesia. lost just trying to make life as awkward as possible for Chi who may not have thought he would be in this kind of position a couple of points away from taking the opening game against the man who'd beaten him comprehensively on the only previous occasion on which they'd met
It's going to go long, and here are four game points for Chile Eugene. Well, that's a massive turn up. And he thoroughly deserved it. 21 points to 16. And Chinese Taipei against all the odds. Still right in contention for this event. Thanks to the 24-year-old. 146 in the world. But he's on top of the world number 19 at the moment. Leading by one game to love in 21 minutes on court. Huge pressure now on Mr. Vito. Try and get back into this match. And that's a great start for she Not just if she won the point, but it shows you where his mindset's at. And the psychological boost he would have got from winning that opening game against the odds, against the expectation. I think, think, right, I can maybe do this. Remember in the tie, Chinese Taipei, one love down, two one down. So if he does come through, they certainly would have done it the hard way. What an opportunity. The absolute national hero if he gets through to the quarterfinals. Long way to go, and that was uh, Hit with some venom by Mr. V2. Right. to have a very steady head on those shoulders a good tactical brain well 
eyes. You can't believe he's ever played much better than this, to be honest. And he's picked a pretty good time to turn in a display like this so far. Early days in game two, but I would imagine there are lots of uh, Indonesians watching here who are more than a little concerned. Because they might, they may not come out the best way with the maths if we do end up with three teams and two wins apiece. And he's there again. Rich Devita has just been bullied out of this at the moment. And you can almost feel Rich Devita's frustration. Thailand Algeria match, by the way, has uh, just started on court three. That's the other match in this group. Oh, well, that is incredibly unlucky. It really. It really is, but I guess when you when you're under the cosh, that's what happens. And Rista Vito must be wondering what he has to do to win a point at the moment. I don't think anyone saw this kind of a scoreline coming. Seven, one. It's a mixture of uh, joy and disbelief, I think, on some of the fellow Chinese Taipei squad members' faces. 8-1. Seen these kind of needs come and go before, though. Well, I couldn't have so wished for a better start after taking that opening game. Called in, he's going to challenge. I don't think he's going to get much joy, as it seemed to be good. Right down in front of our commentary position. And it was, as you can see, bang on the line. One challenge remaining. Well, three points in a row, and if this pumpman tells you he's uh, far from giving this up, then why would he? Set it up with the first shot, and the coup de grace was pretty simple. 
And the comeback's definitely on now with a vengeance. Momentum has changed. 8 1 lead has shrunk to 8 6. And suddenly, Mr. Vito looks by far the more, the more composed of the two players out there. He needs to win a point quickly, Chi. Not that time. Seven, eight. Well, he needed that point badly, albeit it came from an error by his opponent, but just to stop the rock, six points in a row he'd lost. Mr. Vito still right back in this, though. On the line, uh, we're going to be challenged. And the speed at which Usta Vito had his arm up leads me to think this might be very, very close. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. to win this game you think now having come back from 8-1 down and uh, Xi Zhen just looks a little shell shot to be honest missed that as well
And they wouldn't be denied, would he? Great battling from Chi, but you just doubt whether he can really stay with Rustavito after what we saw in the first part of that second game. He let slip a huge lead. He just looked like he maybe lost a bit of heart. Maybe he's getting a, a little weary. I mean, it's only a point down. I'm sure he'll still get this point. Oh, stand corrected. Wow. That's a bit of a body blow. think he, he really believes Chi that he can win this game from here. So I think it goes to a third. And not really start to feel you know, the exhaustion in his legs. He's only two points behind, but it's just the way the game was swung back dramatically in Mr. Vito's favour. the match and the energy that's going on out there this wonderful comeback from Krista Vito that's a bad miss by anyone standards Point for point at the moment, 14 all. Certainly had enough power, I just didn't have the direction.
It was hope rather than belief from Chi that that was going to be long. Well, it was great play from both players. Mr. Vito, though, at the crucial part of the game, goes a couple of points clear. And you can see the effort that Chi Yuken has put into this match. He has been totally committed to the cause, not just his own, but his nation's. Massive ask when you're ranked around 150 in the world and play a top 20 player. It was hardly played at all this year, Cheat. It's going brilliantly up to now, but I just wonder if his effort's going to burn out a little. 16-14. a tired looking shot in there. Just wonder if uh, Mr. Vito's got the sense that she's getting weary, and potentially by extending these rallies, that's 46 shots. And the other thing that Mr. Vito's doing, as you can see, slowing the game down at every possible opportunity, changes of shuffle, anything you can do to keep. She had a rhythm and it's working. Massive favourite now for this uh, second game at slip there so completely unable to get back and cover that part of the court
fantastic shot. It was really brave from Chi. Surely you would think now that she's a brave bid in this second game. It's going to be fruitless at 16-19 down. I could almost feel the energy sapping out of both players at that rally. Really, it has become something of a battle of attrition in this second game. Mr. Vito still in control at 19-17. Massive point coming up though for, for Chi. If he can get to within a point, we might start to concern the Indonesian. 2017, you would fancy Mr. Vito to get the job done from there. Mm. Read it, played it, won it. And now three game points to level the match and take us to a deciding game in the deciding match in the tie. That's wide, I think. Yeah. Unsaved. Two to go, two straws to clutch at for Chi. Yeah, and that miscue means that it's uh, one game all, 21-18, in favour of Rusta Vito. And we are going all the way in this uh, deciding match. One game all.
Jadi dia nunggunya tuh gampang kecacok aja. wonder whether she can summon sufficient reserves of strength in this final game that kind of luck will not to endear him very much to whoever determines these things Mr. Beat has had a few neck cords actually more than one this match Terrific point. We'll see what the uh, crowd think of it. Mr. Vito just starting to assert a little bit now. And you just fear a tad fair cheat. He's really put everything into this. I just wonder whether the, those exertions are starting to take their toll a little bit. into the more it's going to damage G psychologically in particular as well as physically. 5-2 
No shots that were missing earlier. Sorry, that were going in earlier, were missing now from Chi. second game where she was 8-1 in front. Just can't escape the conclusion that that was his opportunity really. Just gone wide though. No question, but looks the wearier of the two now from Chinese Taipei. That's another error, though, and they will, they will encourage him. Chinese Taipei camp can say that Chi Yuzhong hasn't put up a magnificent fight. He may still win this match, but the way things are going, I suspect that the Indonesian not too much. That's going to be just wide. And just too wide for Chi to even consider a challenge. Well, that's about as uh, proactive as it's been for a while. And he still believes. Six interval lead for Cesar Estevito. It's been a far from plain sailing for him so far, but looks to be in control now. chapter in this uh, extraordinary tie about to be written after uh, more than six hours Mr. Vito has the winning line in his sight but still a few hurdles to clear before he gets there there's a couple of cheap points straight away his opponent. Well, 
Furiouser and Furiouser. Looked down and dead and done for, didn't he, at 11 6, but three points in a row. Just let the Indonesian know it's not going to be a straightforward ride to the finish line. Well, that will make him feel a bit better. And the body language suggests he, he thinks he's every child still and you look at the scoreboard and you say probably he's right just a couple of points in it what an epic battle this is what an epic time it's been started at half past eight this morning it's going to be wide and he's just going to count off the points here as the veto. Eight more he needs. And that's the way I would do it. In his position. Don't get too far ahead of yourself. Well, in trying to get that extra degree of angle, he's pushed it wide of the uh, sideline. See the reaction <laughs> of Chi. Oh, that's a stunning shot. Forced the error, not really an error to be fair. I'd say that was unforced because that was travelling very low. He had to pick it up. Couldn't clear the net. Another point one, another point closer. And another point closer to Chinese Taipei being eliminated. Well, no one can begrudge him a bit of good fortune. He hasn't had much of it to tell. Well, he slipped over, but he didn't have to play another shot. <laughs> Just know this is going to go to the wire now. Looked to all intents and purposes as that was going to be a straightforward, almost coast after the interval for Rusta Vito, not a bit of it. this look at this <laughs> 14 all well he was 8-1 up in the second game cheap and lost it he was 11-6 down at the interval now he's on level terms and suddenly he's got a second win that's what happens when you're playing well and scoring points you don't feel as tired just maybe a fraction late to go down to retrieve that. You see how much the crowd are enjoying this. They really are. Fight fire with fire.
He's just the wrong side of the line from Chief's point of view. Well, win, lose, or draw, it's been an absolutely titanic effort from both men, really, but Chi in particular, as he was clearly a big outsider. He, he didn't mean to uh, go anywhere near him with that, actually. I think it was just the. Mr. Vita kind of moved into the, the line of the shuttle after he hit it. I think he knows there, there was no uh, no ill intent there at all. There's become a lot of respect between these two actually. And that's completely understandable. seems like magnified at least twofold as we get towards the winning line and one of these men is going to be incredibly disappointed in a few minutes time well you've got to admire his heart <laughs> not just his technique He just keeps putting the pressure back on his much higher ranked opponent. 17 all. In a, you can't take your eye off it match. And that's into the net. And now he's got the lead, yeah, by one. Well, Chinese Taipei's hopes in the Thomas Cup were almost dead and buried. Then they looked pretty good. Then they looked in big trouble again. And now it's a 50-50 chance, pretty much. She needs three points. Mr. Vito needs four. Wouldn't bet on going this uh, this guy into 25, 26 or something of that order. Yeah, that that was hit with total authority. Just a fraction short from Chi. And Mr. Vito onto it in a flash. from Mr. Vito read it. It was a little bit of a gamble, but it's a gamble that's paid off handsomely now. I don't think that she did much wrong. She knew exactly where it was going. So smart to react. Two points away, the Indonesian. Two points away from knocking Chinese Taipei out of the Thomas Cup. Don't, don't rule out a golden point in this match. We've had everything else. Absolutely incredible drama here. Two all. 
in matches. One all in games here, and 19 all. Let me get a lot closer than that. Oh, what's he done? What's he done? I don't think he's done that. Maybe he's done it once in the entire match. Oh, pressure. Adrenaline makes you do funny things in sport. Match point for Indonesia. Just about got to it. And that's going to be it. And he's so disappointed. You can see it on Chi's face. It's a massive win for Rustavito, but boy, he had to work hard for it. And it means that Chinese Taipei's wait for Thomas Cup glory will go on. They are eliminated here. Beaten by Thailand, now beaten again in dramatic fashion by Indonesia. Rustavito coming through 21-19 in the third. Having recovered from 8-1 down in the second game after Chi had taken the opener 21-16. Well, the high five, understandable, but wow. It was tight, it was tense, could have gone either way, literally. Hour and ten minutes there or thereabouts, all smiles at the end. Indonesia through with three wins. And they will almost certainly now qualify with uh, Thailand, who are playing their match against Algeria, even as we speak. And it was the moment. Into the top of the net. Much closer than he would have liked it to have been. But all's well that ends well. Afternoon play already going on on two courts. That was our morning session. We started at half past eight, it's now quarter to three local time. Let's see if we can have a look at how that result leaves the Group A table. I'm going to tell you that Indonesia have maximum points. And Chinese Taipei, as you see there, just a lone victory uh, against Algeria. And with Thailand to play Algeria, unless something astonishing happens, they are going to be gone. So, after that so extraordinary session, please stay with us because coming up we've got Korea versus Chinese Taipei in the Uber Cup. My colleague uh, Jill Clark will be taking you through that. Uh, but for now, you can't not have enjoyed the drum we've shown you over the last six hours. For me, Trevor Harris and a whole outside broadcast team here in our house. Stay with us. We're doing this all the way through until Sunday. <laughs> Bye for now.